lot of videos in the last two weeks. Actually, I haven't put a video out in two weeks, and I greatly apologize. It's not because we haven't been busy. It's been the exact opposite. We've been extremely busy. And some days, I've just been so busy and so tired when I get home. I just want to go to bed. I've been spending a lot of time in this truck, and that's what I'm doing right now is unloading logs here in the yard. I'm going to try to put out the video today. Today's Saturday, May 1st. So I'm going to try to put something out today, and it's going to be kind of a chopped up video. Some stuff I filmed on the job about a week ago and earlier in this past week. And then today, me unloading on the yard. And this here's what we're unloading right now. We're unloading some hackberry. We're filling a hackberry order. Hackberry and ash. Uh, this side, this comes from a different job. This is all bur oak we've brought in. Uh, I've got walnut started back here and behind me. Kind of up there the head where Tipsy's laying. And there's some walnut on this load here towards the bottom. Uh, this this all comes from here in Stockton. This actually comes from a farm my dad's cut on six times now. I could be wrong. It's either six or seven times my dad's cut on this farm. And I'll try to get some video there tomorrow. I meant to get some this morning. But seriously, guys, it's been busy and hectic here lately. And I greatly apologize because I know at the beginning of the year, I said I was going to do my best to pump out more videos. And uh, I definitely let you guys down here the last couple weeks. So I'm going to get unloaded and enjoy the video. So today we're cutting around a crop field and this is a field we've cut around in years past. I believe the last time was 2015, sometime in that time frame, 2015, 2016. So today what we're looking to do, we're going to go through here and we're going to thin out just some of this, what we generally call pallet material. And I am getting ready to cut some pecan. I already have cut some pecan. I think dad's cut some ash. I've cut some water oak. Uh, I'm not really sure what all dad's cut up through there, but some of these things lean pretty hard, which we'll put a hinge in them, try to bring them down safely. Uh, there's a few big bur oak around this field. It's real wet ground, as you can tell out here, real wet, which luckily, luckily right now it's fairly dry, dry enough I can drive the F550 around the edge of it. But two things we're looking to achieve here from this is one, you know, get some timber cut for our landowner, and two, getting rid of some of these trees that kind of canopy over the field like you see here and shadow out in it hopefully that'll allow a little more sunlight to get through here and kind of help they keep things dry or at least a little more dry anyway compared to what they are now uh this luckily this uh this job's on a good friend of ours and the guys that farm it have become good friends past clients have turned into good friends so it's it's always a great great pleasure and a great deal to uh, get a cut for people you really know and like and it's, it's always great that they just trust you and ensure you to do the best you can for their harvest so we'll set the camera up we'll uh, take this pecan down here first got a real hard lean got a big top in it i'm not real sure where the best place to go with this is as hard as it's leaning we're going to have very few options because even with the hinge it's kind of going to go where it wants to go as hard as it's leaning uh, I think we'll try to just bring it right around through here try to miss this little water oak out here there's a little elm growing right there this little waterway drainage said hopefully the sun will be able to shine in here and kind of keep this a little drier in the future that's kind of the goal we're working towards today <laughs>
right in there where we needed it to go. See our hinge here. Yeah, not a bad pecan log. We'll get that cut out and worked up. And even some of these tops, the stuff that we'd normally leave for slash, we're gonna try to haul some of it back uh, to the yard. It's, uh, it's not that it brings much money at all, but we can utilize it. And like I said, it's normally stuff that it's really not even big enough to run through as a log, but there's a firewood processor that's wanting it and we're just gonna sell it by the ton is really the best way to go about doing it. And it, it's, it's not like we're gonna do a lot of it, but some of these better limbs up here, stuff we can kinda work up fairly easy. We'll uh, try to get a little bunch of them or we can bring a load in on the Mac. stand around a tree when it's fallen it's not so much the tree I worry about it's the other trees around it and what's on top of them
That's a big enough load. We'll go ahead and get strapped down and we'll see if we can get her back to the yard. I would say that will probably be all we get to do as far as hauling over here this week. I think we're going to haul some logs off dad's yard tomorrow into one of the mills just to kind of keep stuff moving. That's not a very big load of logs. Of course the walnut's quite a bit lighter than the oak. See we're way under our stakes all points. Got all my big logs up front. I'm trying to distribute my load out until our tag axle gets here. It cannot get here soon enough. Get that put on, we'll be in pretty good shape. So until then, we'll just run fairly light. Hey guys, if you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for all of our latest videos.